pilot in the Navy and I didn't know much about astronauts only John I mean only Al Shepard had flown and so I began to think about it you know and think boy that's going to be amazing I, I wonder how they picked Al Shepard who the heck is he searchlights over the distance and behind it was this very thin sliver of the moon and uh, it was uh, starting to sink in on me that this moon was one heck of a long way off. First of all, that everything that we had trained for worked perfectly. We orbited just the way we should have been. The engines worked fine. Uh, we were captured by the moon now. We had circularized our orbit, uh, uh, and we looked at the moon, and you know, my impressions was that, of course, it was all shades of gray, no color. Uh, it was very awesome and sort of, uh, you know, for forbidden. In other words, uh, it looked like it was ancient, no, no uh, atmosphere, uh, like time stood still uh, when we saw the moon just 60 miles uh, above the surface. I couldn't believe it when we, early in our descent, Neil had a chart with marks on it and we were looking down and after about two minutes of power, he said, he said, going to be a little long. I could not believe that he could say that, that he could observe that, that that, that was going to have anything to do. But we were, and it worked. And we were long, I guess because we didn't have good tracking coming around the moon, and that was the uh, antenna wouldn't lock on too well.
blow up the laminate. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh, that looks beautiful, Samuel. It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like much of the high desert of the uh, United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. We certainly felt that the Apollo 13 uh, uh, disaster put pressure on the whole program. We couldn't afford another failure. So had we not been able to land on Apollo 14 for some reason or another, and it did get a little iffy, uh, that might have been the end of the uh, lunar missions right there. Uh, there's no question it was a push, certainly computer. I mean, I'm amazed that we went to the moon with the biggest computer was less than a megabyte, about a tenth of a megabyte, in fact. And uh, today we throw gigs around like uh, crazy. Uh, so it's uh, certainly pushed uh, computing assets, which do really more on the ground, uh, the mainframes. Uh, uh, they pushed IBM to develop to support both rendezvous uh, the calculations needed for rendezvous as well as uh, uh, navigation uh, for translunar uh, navigation to trajectory uh, calculation. Mm -hmm. 